and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Deep Sea Monsters. Had a, another donation deck to play some Deep Sea Monsters. Fun deck to play. We can do some crazy stuff in the late game. And so that's what we're going to be doing here. All right, so um, this one I put together, though, we're going we're gonna to be doing a couple of different spicy things. Um, first thing is you may recognize um, at two mana, Thorny Toad is very popular in this deck and i honestly just don't think thorny toad is very good it's just there's a lot of times like you draw thorny toad in like the mid or late game you can never never have like time to play because you need to play other things um yeah it's just it doesn't really trade with things being a one four it usually just sits out there on the battlefield and just doesn't do stuff so instead of playing that card we're gonna play higher guns instead higher gun being a two three can more uh Trade, can trade easier, can be a little bit more proactive for us attacking for two. And then in the late game, we can play Hired Gun, grant their strongest enemy vulnerable, and help us out in combat. So we can kind of use it as a removal spell, like as we double spell, where the Thorny Toad is just going to be doing nothing. Um, so we're going to be playing that card. Um, let's see, we're going two Miss Call, we're going one Fading Memories. This is one that the chat was just talking about. I'm willing to try it out here. It, Fading Memories is probably going to be worse than I'm not playing Thorny Toad, but the ideal scenario with Fading Memories is having Dreg Dredgers, because this card is, is amazing. And uh, if we have a, a Dredgers, then we can Fading Memories it <clears throat> and be able to play that. And basically, we get to, um, we'd be able to toss three and have something die. So it'd, it'd be kind of like our jettison of toss four. Um, but, you know, we could do that. We can also put it on like a Dreadbloom Wanderer, which would be nice for the toss three. Um, but then there are just our other stuff, like maybe later on in the game, like we get an extra Jaw Hunters that we need. Or maybe you just need like another Devourer of the Depths later on. Um, so, you know, like there's there's things we can do with this. So we're going to try one of these. Um, not playing an Atrocity. We'll see if if I should have an Atrocity in here. I think if I'd fit in an Atrocity, it'd probably be over another Mist Call or Abyssal Eye. And maybe, maybe over an Abyssal Eye. Um... But I definitely love one Ruination. I think you definitely need one Ruination in Sea Monsters. And maybe two. Maybe this is a two of. Um, and Vengeance is pretty good, but uh, no Atrocity. All right, so let's play some Deep Sea Monsters. Let's go play five games over in Ranked, like we always do. All right, and then besides that, we're going to be playing some other uh, fun decks today. We're going to be playing uh, Draven Lee Sin, a deck that a lot of people have been asking about in chat. So we'll be going, going to that deck. And then um, I'm going to play two of the, probably, I'm probably going to play the two most popular decks because we haven't played them at all in our current, in the current uh, iteration of either one with uh, Endure Spiders and Tempo Sejuani. So that um, for those of y'all uh, that play those decks and want to see some, some gameplay with them and everything, we're going to be playing at those two. We're doing that today. Hey, Fredo. And of course, to one. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you, thank you. Hope everybody else is doing good as well. All right, good opener. Double Dreg Dredgers. This is the best card to see in the opening hand. We did just toss another one. That's weird. Why does it only say that card that we tossed? Yeah, that's weird. But we, we did toss a hired gun and a drag treasures for the other two. Does anybody play this deck and while they um while they play it, while they're tossing, they're like writing down every single card they toss? and stuff. I wonder if anybody plays it that diligently. Yeah, they're like keeping notes of each card that gets gets tossed. Dang. All right, well, nothing really to do here. I guess we're just gonna play Hired Gun. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think we just play hard gun. Success gets you noticed around here. Yeah, you just do it mentally. Try to, men you know, take mental notes. That's something I wonder if anybody's like diligent enough to 
write it down because it's hard to remember like because you toss so much you're like all right those those three those three these three so one not wait do we toss a nautilus wait what's going on here oh it's just showing it's showing what i drew okay figured it out it's showing what i drew okay yeah, we tossed the first two. We drew the second two. I was like, you can't toss Nautilus. What's going on here? Watch and learn. Six away from deep right now. It's just going to make it more likely that Devour the Depths does get rid of the Ezreal if we, um, if we play the Abyssal Eye here. This is a trigger for Ezreal and three damage for Swain. Could Vile Feast my own thing. I need you earlier, Wanderer. So that's 17. That Wanderer has healing. Balfis has healing. It's not bragging if you could back it up. <laughs> Noxian Guillotine is the thing that could punish me for doing this. But I think it's worth it. Like, that's one card in, like, the whole, in, like, everything that it could possibly have. Sure. I don't think it really makes sense to wait a turn. Yeah, we, we didn't really put any card yeah very many cards back we did toss our low end drew our top end but that's okay nautilus can fix it all right let's make that thing this could be where, like, some stun cards come out. I'm planning on going Devour, Devour with these other two. 
Um, and then having three mana for Miscall. Like, you know, if I go Shipwreck, Horde, or Devour, then I have the two mana. I think I'd rather the three mana for Miscall available. That's convenient. I mean, they're they're dead, but that was convenient. More sea monsters. Things are so big. Like, how are you going to be a damage a damage based deck like what they have and deal with ten eights, like three mana ten eights and two mana seven sevens? Just not possible. We need our Teemo. Always gotta have the Teemo emote. Like, I like the bottom two, I like the top two. I like the Teemo emote, and it's just like this slot. I don't know, I don't really love any of these other ones. We'll use this with our deck. Those are like the five that I like. I like the top two, the bottom two, and the Teemo emote. Those are my favorite five. So we got Misfortune, Gangplank. Like, Jaw Hunters isn't bad. But we're going for our... Oh, wow. Like, this is much... This is much worse than the cards that we... Mulligans. The cards we mulliganed were, were much better than, than these three. <laughs> I would have kept those three in a heartbeat over these three. Danger pay. So playing this right now means like they don't want to just play misfortune, right? Kind of keeps them from just playing Misfortune immediately. Like, they play, which might have been their plan. Okay, then they play that thing. That happens. And they're helping us. No! I want that card. I was going to say they're helping us get deep a little faster by st stealing a couple of cards. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. These aisles will be cleansed. They sure will, Maokai. They sure will. We know they're not going to be taking my sea monsters because I've been drawing all the sea monsters. It's a lot like last game. We're not drawing the the toss, we're drawing the sea monsters. So that's a quick pass. Wonder if I pass back. They only lose three mana if I pass back. Yep. 
Makes sense. It's not that great against Mega Rain. Taking all this damage isn't great against Mega Rain either. Probably should have just passed back. Like, this is gonna happen. Seven away from deep. I, mean, I can get deep by playing Jettison and Salvage. Then I don't really have anything else to play. At that point. Why can't you just why doesn't this heal us three also? Should it should. Just one off. Um, we're five away until deep. This is four. We'll be able to be deep. Be able to be deep now this turn. Hey Turkey. Everybody. Dang, they still took a shipwreck order from me.
Hmm. It's probably best to get Shipwreck Order in play first. Leaves me six mana. Keel Breaker. Kai's leveled up. That's all right. We're fine. I need to do the other way. Whoops. I need to do, I need to do Vile Feast first and then Kill Breaker. This just kills my spider. Sorry, spider. Spider got smashed. Smushed spider. Yeah, that'd be nice to have that spider. Now I want to draw Maokai. Still two Maokai's in there somewhere. All right, GG. Three eight eight fearsomes, still good enough. Still good enough. I must have not had anything for an eight eight fearsome because that's attacking for twenty four damage. So you know, I was attacking for lethal. <laughs> I know that poor spider. I could see playing salvage. I could see keeping like I could see keeping salvage here. The middle two cards are definitely gone. Um, ideally, we get we find some uh, cheat things to play. I mean, salvage isn't bad. Do y'all have any op opinion on salvage? See anything? I'll just send it back. All right, we got our best card. Um, Dredgers, that's our best card. Um, but the price of getting the best card was our three most expensive cards in our deck. But salvage is okay, but I wouldn't keep it. Cool, I didn't keep it either. The salvage would have been better than <laughs> anything I got this turn, which is nothing.
I don't think it's worth vengeancing. Cat. Right now. Everything. So we get to overwhelm. Oh no, they have another one. I was gonna say we get to overwhelm. Or not overwhelm, gosh, challenge. We just challenge one elusive and then we'd strike with the abyssal eye. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. How was it going to? Not damaged or stunned. So we get to toss three with that card also. If that card didn't have toss three, I'd, I don't know if I'd play it there, but. I like getting that toss three as well. Think it fast? Cute. Devour uses my mana a lot better. But I kind of like just getting these things to, to block. Or toss in quite a bit more. Get it so it's easier to have. Um, eh. Easier to have. Um, deep before Devour. I have not patience. I don't know if I actually play Hired Gun. I think there's a good chance they have another Ravenous block. Oh, right. That thing gets recalled. Right. Oh, well. Never mind. Right. Right, right, right. Miss call. Couldn't have you, couldn't have you last time? Uh, why is Hired Gun in the deck? I, I put the Hired Gun in the deck. Like, this is a donation deck, but the person that donated for it wanted me to build the, the deep deck. I, I just don't, I don't think the, I don't think the two mana 1-4 is any good. And I think the Hired Gun can have a lot more, uh, usefulness. Over it. So ideally, we will... Like, I'm, I'm going to be casting the Ruination this game, but ideally we will uh, level up this Maokai first. Who's on top of the bounty board today? So I'm planning to play this and play uh, Vengeance. I'm gonna play Vengeance on Cat. Walk here. No. Uh, I guess block with this thing just in case Vengeance doesn't work. I could just take four damage, but. No go. Not my first gunfight. Give 
Alright, so this does allow Maokai to get leveled up. Down to four cards left. When am I playing this Ruination? Really wish I could play Abyssal Eye and have Vengeance available. But that's, that's not how it works. Yeah, Katarina's kind of scary. We should be fine. We will not fail. Nine nine. Maybe I got too greedy with that. Maybe I got too greedy. With that ruination. It looks like I might... Okay. Thankfully I didn't have deny, because otherwise I... Would have just lost that when I had no reason to lose that one. You know, like last turn, I could have just used like the miss call, brought back my 7-7. Seven, seven. I would love it if my opponent passed back to me. I don't think that's gonna happen. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Only fools hesitate. Face your fate. I take five, go down to six. You can file the grove. Now who's got the upper hand? So like we have we have Riptide available now, but there's there's good and bad things about Riptide. The bad thing Bad thing about Riptide is it does put an extra card back into their deck. Alright, so cannot play Katarina as well. 
that don't have to worry about. Don't have to worry about uh, an extra, you know, an extra attack step right now. So they basically have this next turn to kill me, right? Dare you. They kind of like have to kill me this turn, right? But but then again, I cannot cast Riptide. I cast Riptide to give them more time. It would be nice to be able to play Ruination and Miss Hulk both. Wow, there's no might. All right, if I play this, okay. The sea does not forget. Three and O. Oh. All right, milled them out with Maokai. That's the other thing that our deck can do. We won our first two games with damage, but we can also win with Maokai. Milled them out as well. Deck's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Here in line, I can't express the cell service is bad in this area, so the stream is, the stream is skipping bad. Well, the, the good news, though, Thorwolf, is that you're going to eat some tasty Panda Express in a little bit. So that's the good news. No champion Freljord Bilgewater? Or sorry, why did I say Bilgewater? Piltovern's on? What is no champion Freljord Piltover's on? There's a few different things it could be. It's I don't think we need hired gun. I don't think it's gonna be that aggressive that we need a hired gun. Perfect. Great opener. That's what I, the real noodles need, like that. Uh, that would have been great to have with my one drop. The trap is set. Like, are they going Elnux? Are they going Elnux? Hot on the trail. Is that what we got going on over here? We Elnuckin. I wonder if this turn's better as like Dread Bloom Wanderer this turn, and the next turn I can go Maokai plus Dreg Dredgers to make sure that we definitely get the toss with the Maokai ability. United, nothing can stop us. It wasn't too likely they'd have removal. All right, so something's gonna be big. 
Outriders just gave something plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. Fading Memories, the big, the, be the best thing it's for is this drag at Dredgers. We get to just go deep, like, now. We toss in everything. Can we level up Maokai this turn? We need 12 more to level up Maokai? Dang, that's a 10-10. Oh, we probably don't have... Oh, wait, maybe we do have... Yeah, actually, I think we can just level up Maokai this turn, right? We need eight more? No, we need nine more. Hmm. This thing dies, so... I guess this thing will die, too. Level f turn five, level up Maokai. Alright, you got four more turns. We do have a 10 10 over there. It's gonna be problematic. Challenging the ten ten. It's the best thing to challenge. So basically, I could Vile Feast right now and get another blocker. Which is what I was kind of debating upon. Going to six. I've learned patience. You bad. Tough game. Like they get one more attack step. We have to survive. We have to survive one more attack step. I put a lot of cards back. Welcome to the tipsy I'll just hold on to that spell mana for now. these Maokais. That was, that was the worst card probably left in our deck to draw. Probably.
Can we attack these? Over there. Who goes yeah, I was kind of expecting that to block, which I was, made me a little bit want to vile piece, but also I was kind of want to save the mana too, just in case, depending on what we draw. Um. Okay, looks like we didn't really need it. Or like that I could have cast the Vile Beast, but so like I, I have like the sap magic available. Can heal allies three. It also tosses three. Um it is burst speed. I'll wait. I'll draw a card first, I guess. The thing about tossing three is makes it more easy to toss, you know, like we may draw a treasure. It's like this could draw us a treasure. Treasures are slow speed. Puts me to one. One little life. Sweet. All right, that'll do. That'll do because they were out of cards in their library, right? Like so, that was their that was their last attack step. Trying to finish this off. Bora, what's up, good friend Sky? With the raid, what's up, good friend Sky? Welcome everybody from Sky Stream. Thanks for the raid. Yeah, Sap Magic has been uh, has has actually been pretty good for us a couple of times now in these games. A couple of times. Yeah, so Maokai Maokai won us those games twice. With milling out, that game was incredible. We we leveled up Maokai on turn five. That's pretty powerful. Um, another non-champion deck. This is usually, you know, un undying deck. I'm getting rid of Salvage. I could see keeping Miss Call and then turn three having Wander. It dies and then Miss Call it back. I kind of like that. We'll keep that. That's better than random cards, I think. It's not the best. Like the best is, of course, the one, one mana, two one. That's the best card we have. Yeah, Sat Magic healing the Nexus would be nice, but things aren't always nice. Double combo. Double undying combo. Four already having two undyings and, and then caretaker with bark beast. This is very, very impressive hand for our opponent. We're at eight out of twenty five. It's a long ways away. Danger. Unfortunately, Hired Gun would give the Undying 
Like the undying is their big thing to give vulnerable. And that's not really uh, It's not really something that I want to give vulnerable to. Wow. Wow. This is a really, really impressive hand. Sometimes you just gotta give it to your opponent. They got, they got everything. They have it all. GG's, no matter what blocks I make, I lose. I can block 8, I take 10. <laughs> that was incredible. So that's what it took to be able to defeat the deep sea monsters. One of the best hands I've ever seen. <laughs> ever. Um, yeah, maybe we would have drawn Vile Feast off the salvage. That was my only hope. We didn't. Um, so yeah, so there we go. I like the Fading Memories was nice because like your best cards earlier are Dredgers, Wanderer, Fading Memories helps that. Um, I guess with. You know, you could play more Fading Memories, and then I guess if you do have more Fading Memories, then maybe that would make the 1-4 better, because uh, then it's easier to have the 1-4 die, uh, wherever that card is. Um, the Toad. Uh, we didn't really get to do anything that cool with, with Hired Gun. Um, but I do, I do like, I like, I think Hired Gun's just a better card than Thorny Toad, even in this kind of deck. Um... Yeah, I, I like the the hired gun. Um, but yeah, fading fading memories was good. Um, definitely like that. Uh, didn't really ever feel like we needed atrocity. I, I, you know, like atrocity is the kind of card that will get stuck in your hand a, a lot, and we already had like a bunch of cards that could get stuck in our hand. So, so I'm kind of glad we didn't have atrocity. Um, Vengeance was very good. Saved us a couple of times. Uh, but maybe three. I don't know. Maybe Jaw Hunters isn't a three of. I don't, no, Jaw Hunters is good. You just when you're, when you're mulliganing, just look really hard. Look for Drag Dredgers, Wander, Maokai. Like that. That's what I I keep like those three cards, and everything else uh, can get mulliganed. For the most part. Oh, and Jettison, keep Jettison, of course. Like you basically just try to try to toss as fast as you can. Um Alright. Anyway, so that's Deep Sea Monsters. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave some comments about the deck. Let me know what you think about playing Hired Gun instead of Thorny Toad. Um and anything else. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.